What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so well, like always, and are ready for a fire CGC return. Guys, we have some killer cards today. I hope you're all excited. I know a ton of you guys love these reveal videos. <laughs> I love them myself as well. Nothing is better than showing off the Omash Nation's cards. So thank you guys for trusting me with your cards today. The Omash Nation members who are in this video are Omar, Nick, Liam, and Carl. And guys, today's video consists of two subs. We have a CGC bulk sub with no subgrades from January 16th. That is when I sent it off. And it's interesting because we've already gotten the subgraded ones back from that sub. So weird CGC. They graded the subgrades faster than the no subgrades when they mark it the exact opposite. <laughs> so who knows what happened there. But then the other one is from April 1st and it is a CGC standard sub with no subgrades and it's just fire all around guys. If you are pumped, hit that like button also known as the luck button here. It is right there. Pass all your positive energy this way so that we can get some good grades because we all know we need all the help we can get when it comes to CGC. GC. <laughs> and then other than that guys, hit that subscribe button to join the Omash Nation. I'd really love your support. We are trying to get to 10,000 before the end of the year and we are slowly getting there. But other than that, let's get everything unloaded and ready to reveal. All right guys, everything is unloaded in front of us. We have two towers, just like Lord of the Rings. We're gonna start with this smaller one here. I believe this is the bulk sub with no subgrades. Um, and we are starting it off with a shiny Scorch V from Shining Fates. Not Shining Fates, Shiny Star V. <laughs> Japanese version. Our first grade of the day is 9.5, as you can see, no subgrades, so we cannot see the exact details, but that's beautiful. I love that glitter. Whoa, and that spiral pattern, too. Just crazy with the scent of Scorch. I actually might need that card in my collection. <laughs> Amazing Rare Reshiram is next. Beautiful. Japanese Amazing Rares just destroy the English ones. I just like them so much better. We have... 9.5, guys. <laughs> we are never going to get a 10, I'm convinced. Except I have hope, so I'm not fully convinced. Maybe one day. Jirachi GX from that big promo that all of the scalpers got a hold of. <laughs> I just remember TikTok going crazy over this guy. We have... 8.5, not too bad. Everything that comes in a box, you know, in between, pinched in the plastic, uh, pretty hard to get a perfect grade. Plus we're talking CGC here, so not likely. 8.5 though, pretty good grade. Next up, very nice Rainbow Espeon GX. Espeon is a fan fave, and the rainbow is awesome. Very nice, let's see. A nine, solid mint card right there. Oof, evolutions are a hot topic right now and I will take as many as I can get. Charizard V promo, we all like this guy, we all have this guy, and we have 9.5, so close to that 10. Uh, supposedly, we cannot get a perfect 10 without subgrades with CGC, and so if we actually do get a 10, it will just be a pristine. Zacian Amazing Rare, oof, just, I love that hollow pattern. Boom, 9.5, solid grading so far, guys. We are doing very good uh, in today's sub. Next up's the Rayquaza, Evolving Skies coming out very soon. Who is pumped? I know I'm pumped. We have a nine, very nice. Oh, that's sick, that is sick. Could you imagine if that boy was a shiny? Whew. Shiny, amazing rare. Pokemon, make it happen. <laughs> Arc Desult pre-release, I like the stamps. We have. 9.5 as well. Guys, you're doing very well with the grades today, so congratulations. Hey, I, you don't see this card too often. We have a Glaceon EX full art. That pad, that texture is pretty nuts. We got a nine, very cool, from Fates Collide. Very interesting, EX era, or XY era. <laughs> Read the name. Pikachu VMAX, we got a chunky boy. Let's get it. Nine, come on. Love that sick. I love how his whole body is just textured all nice. <laughs> Very cool, love it. Next up, I believe this bulk sub is all modern cards. Another Ray. Nine, come on, let's get that 9.5 at least. 
Um, but the other, the standard one, we, we have some big cards. Some big nostalgic cards. Another one, boom! Oh, come on, we gotta get you that 9.5. Unless that first one was a 9.5, I honestly cannot remember. Next! Ooh, we got gold. This is the very first gold card I ever pulled on the channel. <laughs> so this guy, even though it's not the coolest thing in the world, holds some pretty fond memories for me. We have a nine, very nice Hidden Fates gold right there. Ooh, I love Hidden Fates so much. Next, we have some Japanese cards. Mel Metal GX. This is from Tag Team GX All Stars. <laughs> very nice. Let's get a good grade. 9.5, pretty much what you can expect with Japanese cards. The quality is just so good. So surprised we have not gotten more uh, nine, you know, tens because so many Japanese subs. Is that Necrozma GX? Bam! Another 9.5, very cool. Necrozma is a cool guy. <laughs> just reminds me of this Omash Nation member who commented he's trying to get all the Necrozmas ever made in his collection. Necrozma Collector! <laughs> you do you, man. That's awesome. Pikachu and Zekrom GX. 9.5. Very cool. Oh, that's a cool combo. I do enjoy those cards. <laughs> this is just bringing me back to all the times we opened this set. Charizard and Reshiram, one of the best artworks in the game. Arita is the man. Just throwing me back to all the times we opened this set on the channel. Boom! 9.5s all around. Cannot get that 10. Last one of the bulk sub. Let's get it. Giratina Prism. Very cool. You do not see Prism cards too much anymore. But Giratina is a sweet Pokemon. Such a beast. Bam! 9.5s all around for the Japanese cards. I will take that. Congrats on the grades, guys, for those. And now it is time to get into the standard sub. Now, from what I can remember, there are some bangers in this. Um, first, we start off with a $30,000 Bulbasaur first edition. I told you guys there are some sick cards in this reveal. Um, but from what I can remember, they are not all mint but still just banger cards, and so I believe he just sent in, or these guys just sent in a ton of everything. Bulbasaur, do we get that 10? 8.5, no subgrades, it's all good, but still $30,000. Really, if, if you could get a perfect 10 with any first edition base set card, it probably would be worth quite a bit of money. <laughs> because uh, CGC, it does have the double length error, but that is very cool right there. Bulbasaur number one. Let's see what's next. Another Bulba, we're getting some Bulba love. Another 8.5, interesting. Very cool though. Guys, for some reason, just looking at this first edition stamp and the no board shadow on the border and that thinner HP, oh, it's just so cool. It just brings up some sort of feelings, you know? <laughs> I can't really explain it. Another one, bam! 7.5, not terrible, but not the best, obviously. Still first edition, yeah, we can see the corners and uh, some stuff going on, but granted, this set is uh, 22 years old, <laughs> so, ooh, we're upgrading Ivysaur, is that a, it's not a gray stamp. Let's see it, an eight, very nice, near mint to mint. First edition Shadowless Ivysaur. Guys, I told you, fire cards, fire reveal. Ooh, speaking of fire, we got the Charmander. Let's get it. An eight, very nice. That's beautiful. Arita, classic Charmander artwork. First edition, too. First edition. Love it. Gotta love the starters. Another one. Bam. Another eight. Congrats on that. That is sick. Oh, that looks so good. I can, I can just look at first edition stuff all day long. Next up, another one, 7.5. It's getting uh, pretty hard to get these higher than an 8, 8.5. We have not seen a 9 yet. Ooh, Charmeleon, let's go! 8.5. <laughs> it is just very hard to grade these Watsy cards because they're all kind of just beat up. Just uh, that's how they came out of the packs. Bam! Seven for the second one. I told you we have a bunch of cards. Let's see. Oh, yes, this one's my favorite. Squirtle doing a bubble beam, man. This artwork is just so cool. I love this card so much. Boom! 7.5 for the first one. Oh, yes. I need, I need these starter cards in my collection. I have a lot of them, but just not graded. We have another one. 
Oh, another 7.5. Come on, let's get an A on the Squirtle. Squirtle is probably my favorite evolution line when it comes to the Kanto starters. It's who I played with most of the time. Third one, can we get better than a 7.5? No! Three 7.5s in a row, but still, I do like how the water Pokemon look in this blue label CGC slab. It just, it just works. It just works. Four! Can we, come on, fourth time's a charm! <laughs> come on, CGC, can't you just be a little nicer sometimes? Four 7.5s in a row, what is next? Come on, come on. There we go, we at least got one eight. <laughs> Love to see it, congrats. Next, I think, do we evolve? Wow, no, we just have a ton of Squirtles. Squirtle lovers, yes, two eights right there. Don't get sick of it, I do not get sick of it. Oh, wow, <laughs> let's go. 7.5 once again, all near mint to mint cards, but no gems. There we go, we evolved. War Turtle, this is actually a pretty valuable card for some reason, tons of people like War Turtle. We have 7.5 to go with the 7.5 trend of the Squirtles, and another one, come on. Oh, a five. Yeah, you can see something right there. That'll do it, but right there, smack dab in the middle. Five for that, nice, nice. Hey, hey, Dark Blastoise first edition, non-hollow. I love that pose of this Blastoise artwork. Boom, we get a seven, not terrible. First edition from Team Rocket. Oh, the villain Pokemon, I love that concept so much. Flareon, Evolutions. these are where it all started, guys. The first Flareons, not the first ones, but some of the first Flareons, Jungle came before Rocket, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but uh, the artwork is just so good. Dark Flareon, eight, very nice. First edition, yes. Do we have all three? Yes, the Jolteon is next. Probably my favorite Jolteon artwork there is. That is just so good. We have an eight, very nice. We're getting the eight trio. And next, do we have the Vaporeon? And can we get an eight? Oh, just the, the artwork, guys. Wizards of the Coast is just too good. We have... Oh, we got all three eights for the uh, sick evolution trio. I will take that. Whew, that is sick. I need to get those three in my collection as well. Next up, we have Dratini. I am a big Dratini fan because Dragon Knight is my favorite Pokemon ever. Nine, our first, is this our first nine of these uh, vintage cards? I believe it is. I'll take it. Classic Dratini artwork there. Next up. Oh yeah, Dark Dragonair, so cool, love that. 8.5, very nice on that one. I lo I'm loving the evolution lines here. <laughs> love that you graded all of them. Hey, Twist Up, Lieutenant Surge, first edition Hollow from Jim Heroes. I love Jim Heroes so much. 8.5, that is awesome. Congrats on that one. I'm trying to collect all of the Jim Heroes and Challenge uh, cards in PSA because it is my favorite set, or they are my favorite sets <laughs> of all time. Gengar Hollow, first edition from Fossil. So cool. Boom! Very nice eight. That is sick. So cool. I love it. Even though CGI stuff is not my favorite when it comes to cards, uh, that Gengar is just too good. Not as good as this one though. <laughs> I will say that right off the bat. Sabrina's Gengar. This is my favorite Gengar of all time. Oh, so cool. We all know this English one is different than the Japanese one because the Japanese one is banned. The Gengar is in a graveyard. You can see tombstones in the back, but they made this one like he's on a beach or something like that. I don't know, but it's still sick. First edition too. 8.5, so cool. Really, there's just something about that card, guys. That Gengar. Oh, I can't get enough. So cool. Another one, two of them. Can I have one of these? <laughs> we have, ooh, this one's got a big old swirl too. We have an eight for this, so nice. I'll take that. Oh, I just love that artwork. Ken Sugimori is the man. Next, ooh, base Blastoise Hollow, very nostalgic there. Let's see what we got. 8.5 unlimited Blastoise, so cool. They need to bring back hollows uh, like this, not the freaking vertical patterns like they are today. <laughs> 
Oh, big boy right here. First edition Shadowless Blastoise. Oh, wow. Just, I just got the chills. <laughs> I do not remember. Yeah, we can see it's kind of beat up. You can see the top there. Uh, there are some scratches and stuff. Um, yeah, it's definitely kind of played, but still such a beast card. We have a five right in the middle. Excellent card. And yeah, you can definitely tell it is not the perfect card. Let's see if we can see some of the stuff. It actually doesn't look terrible. There's some stuff going on at the bottom. See that all, all along the way there. But yeah, overall, an excellent card. And that is just a beast. Oh, look at that hollow right there. Oof, that looks too good, guys. Too good. I told you this uh, vid was fire. Every time I've said fire, we turn over a fire Pokemon. <laughs> and I swear this isn't staged. We have Blaine's Moltres. This is one of my favorite cards as well. I just love Moltres flying in the air. And then you see the canyon cliff tops right in the back. Oh, it's just so good. And that hollow is too sick. We have... 7.5 for this one, so cool. I will take that all day. Blaine, so I remember Blaine's Magmar in the anime. That that battle was just wild. I, th I thought this was a base one, but no, this is uh, XY Evolutions. We see it's pretty off center, but let's see what we got. A nine, not terrible. Love that hollow pattern, that's for sure. And that artwork is just too classic. <laughs> We will never get enough of that. Dark Charizard non-hollow unlimited. Let's get it. 5.5. What happened with this one? Very, there's something right there. See that a little indent? Um, I don't see anything else like super obvious. Very, oh yeah, there it is. We got a crease. That will do it, but still, I love that artwork right there. That's probably one of my most nostalgic artworks because I actually had it as a kid. Mega Charizard EX full art. Let's get a good grade. Nine, I will take it. That is solid right there. Woo, love seeing that card. I just love the texture. Put some texture on some cards and I'm already a fan. Just like this, Dark Dragonite Hollow. Very cool. This is my favorite Dragonite of all time. Just love the blue back background, his blue stomach. <laughs> that pose, there's just something about it. So sick. Let's get a good grade. 7.5, not bad at all. Oof, I love this guy. Love that card so much. Next up, another one. Let's get better than 7.5. Oh, CGC is just loving us right now in the 7.5s, but still mint card, near mint. Hey, here's the hollow version. We love hollows. So cool too. Oh, Dark Charizard, 6.5 on that one. Yeah, you can see it's pretty played. Scratches on the hollow there. The bottom's not perfect, the edges and the corners definitely are not perfect, but oof, still a banger card. Still a banger. Almost done with this reveal. Secret Rare, the first Secret Rare of all time, Dark Raichu. Oh, I love this action pose too. He's just doing a quick attack or something at you. Love it so much. We have an eight, very, whoa. That's probably one of the most off-center grades I have ever seen, and CGCs, all of them are off-center like that. Woof, that is bad, <laughs> but very nice card. Oh, Dark Raichu, so good, so good. Who would win, Dark Raichu or uh, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu? Hey, we have another one. <laughs> we have a six for this one. Um, something must have happened to give it a six because I'm not seeing it. The hollow is pretty clean, actually. There has to be something in the back. Oh uh, yeah, the, the corners are not that crisp at all. No, nothing major. Like, that is a beat up corner, but would that drop it all the way to a six? Guess so, but that's sick right there. Whew. Lieutenant Surge's Raichu was just too strong though. As we talk about Lieutenant Surge, <laughs> his Electabuzz first edition. I love this card, I love the blue electricity in the background, so cool. We have 8.5, that is solid right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Lieutenant Surge, I'm still waiting for a Lieutenant Surge full art. <laughs> they are not loving, giving any love. Oof. Another Dark Dragonite, first edition non-hollow this time. We have three cards left. Boom, a seven, come on. It's a non-hollow, all these should grade a lot better than the hollows, but 
if there's any dings or you know whitening or anything like that uh, then not much you can do but still that's sick honestly I like I like non hollows because you it kind of um, hey cadaver in the house it makes the Pokemon just kind of pop a little more very nice card though first edition shadowless We've had plenty of awesome cards today. Ton of shadowless babies. Kadabra, 7.5. Very nice. He's given us the bird. He's given CGC the bird. <laughs> uh oh. Don't take it offensively, CGC. Very nice though. As we get into the last card of today, it is our second Dragonite first edition non holo. Let's just enjoy that artwork real quick. Hand drawn Dragonite. I love it. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this reveal. I know I have, and we will see the very last grade of today. Boom, an eight. Very nice, I will take it for you. Congrats on all the grades, guys. Thanks for letting me send off all of your cards. I love helping the Omash Nation grade their collections. If you have cards you wanna send off, message me on any of my social medias or email. Everything is in the description below and I'm available all the time. <laughs> I had a blast today, hopefully you did. Thursday's video is gonna be awesome. It is a sponsored video and we are gonna have some yummy treats. <laughs> Hope you're all excited, guys. You're all awesome. Thanks for all the love and support, and I will catch you next time.